Hey guys, um, I haven't made a video in a long time, and I'm going to explain that. Um, but first, this is going to be a big update, a uh, new beginning for uh, Radical Reptilia here. Um, <clears throat> so, for starters, um, this website is going to get redone. I'm not sure how drastic or what I'm doing, but um, there's some new e-commerce features I want to incorporate and <coughs> excuse me <coughs> some things I want to change with it so um, that's gonna happen um, number two uh, probably about well September I put a video up I think it's the last one I did um, where I bought a collection of corn snakes and uh, I'm not gonna say that was a mistake because I ended up making a profit on them but I did not I found out that I just do not like corn snakes and uh, you know I've had them before I figured well it's a really good opportunity but no I just I just don't like working with corn snakes so I got rid of them and I'll show you guys here in a second um, but the corn snakes are gone just doing ball pythons now and probably uh, Kenyan Sambos too but um, first update is the fact that I'm going to redo the website make it a little bit better looking stuff like that I'm not sure when again this is all hypothetical right now until it actually happens because I got other things going on but uh that's one thing um, second thing let's take you over here to the <coughs> okay so no more corn snakes all gone I still got the baby rack I was gonna sell it but I think I might keep it now in case I want to breed uh, Kenya Sambos, I can put the babies in there. <coughs> um, but yeah, here's the racks I have right now. <coughs> the one in the center, it's a good rack. It's an evolution reptile uh, hatchling rack. I'm going to keep that one. Um, the sub-adult and then the adult rack, I'm probably going to replace with uh, PVC racks from Sea Serpents. Plan on meeting up with uh, Chris um, February 22nd Hamburg Reptile Show and picking up some new racks. So it's just going to allow me to function a little bit better. Um, the V70 tubs are really nice, and the fact that they don't have holes that'll hold humidity a little bit better, um, and just going to look nicer and improve everything in general. So that's what I'm planning on doing there. Um, new racks all the way around. Uh, cause half the, I mean, I built this, I built this rack, both of them, myself. Um, the sub-adult one was hard to keep everything square, um, and some of the tubs really don't slide out very well. So, instead of them rubbing on the heat tape all the time and everything, I'm just going to opt to go for new racks. And of course I'll post an update video when I get them and set up and everything, cause that'll be pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to that. <clears throat> and some of my holdbacks um, today's feeding day by the way like my female albino for example uh, she is shed really nicely I'll pick her up and show you guys and the lighting's not doing her real justice but she's actually a little bit more yellow than it's showing up here but uh, some of these guys are getting too big for their 6 quart tubs so, there's the clown male. Um, so I'm going to get the sub-adult rack and then get the dividers that Chris has. Um, divide them, put those guys in there, that'll work out really nicely. And instead of only holding 10 snakes, I'll be able to hold 20, essentially. So, <coughs> um, but anyways, enough rambling about that. Tuna racks. Um just starting over I kind of I almost was to the point where I was selling everything just like getting out of the hobby altogether but now that I got rid of the corn snakes I realized I still like the ball pythons and I'm still gonna keep going so um, just you know reinvesting getting some new stuff to keep on moving um, next update here is gonna be let me show you guys the rat room here Got some things going. <coughs> so right now, there is no mice being bred. 
Um, when I got rid of the corn snakes, I quit breeding the mice because I really didn't need them. Um, but I am breeding the rats. I got a, two groups of rats right now. Nothing huge because my freezer is pretty stocked. But this is a uh, one, two, three, four, five high rack that I can breed rats with. Um, and then the mouse rack. Now, the reason I, part of the reason I quit breeding the mice too is because the tubs I was using were the, uh, let me get one here so I can show you. The uh, six quart Sterilite tubs, which are fine probably if you want to use them for like a birthing tub for mice or maybe even rats. But uh, not good for breeding mice, I found out. Um, there's just not enough space for a family. And mice seem to get a little bit uh, claustrophobic, I guess you could say. I've noticed at least that they start to have cannibalism, which is not, not good. So, went out to uh, Petco and found some litter pans. Um, just your basic small litter pan, real well floor space. So these are going to slide right in here. I have to modify it just a little bit, but um, should be able to fit four across. And then down bottom, I'm going to have two larger litter pans, as you can see here. I got some larger ones, and those will be for the raise ups. But so I'm going to get back into the mice breeding, just to make a little bit, a couple extra bucks on the side. I really don't need mice to feed ball pythons except for babies, maybe. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be changing. I'm going to be doing the mice again. <clears throat> um, well, I thought there was something else I was going to say about that, but I'll do an update after I get the rack going. As you can see, it's feeding day. Um, but yeah, that's what's changing. Um, so I don't want to say starting over, but getting back into it. Uh, I'm not giving up like I was going to. Because um, I have a lot of projects and a lot of holdbacks and things I was just getting started with. And I don't see any reason to uh, stop now. So, still here, still going. Um, the only thing that's for sale right now is there's one. I think I haven't sexed. Uh, I think it's a male, actually. Uh, ball python. He's right here. Just a uh, normal. He's actually in the shed right now. Um, I'm going to be selling him for $15. He was just a leftover from last season. It wasn't eating right away. Um, but now he's like a champ. So I saved him, which is good. It's one thing about this rack I don't like, guys. Uh, if you get one of these evolution reptile racks, make sure you seal it um, with something. I used uh, a type of polyurethane, but I forget what exactly it's called. But it didn't work real well. I would recommend like painting it or something because moisture just the tubs get hard to slide in and out. If I did it again, I'd buy PVC. That's why I'm getting PVC racks to begin with. But uh, but yeah, these for sale for fifteen. Um, I really don't see why somebody want me to ship. $15 snake, but there's always that option if you want one. Um, if not, if you're anywhere near Pittsburgh area, let me know. Otherwise, the video is getting too long, and I've been rambling, so I'm going to let it go. Uh, more to come, guys. I'm out.